hey guys what's up so this is continuations of uh, web service automations demo and this is the third video which i am going to make today so last class as we discussed how to convert payload to the json object and uh, i have wrote some code the code was not ready because uh, i need to add one of the dependencies and it was not get it, getting downloaded right so we'll see that today we'll see that one by one step by step so before to start the coding part uh this is brief about me i come from a mechanical background and i have my facebook page and youtube channel so you can subscribe and like my facebook page and uh, i do have bit locations where you'll get all the source code so this all the source code will be available to github.com uh learn my one pratap locations now let me start with the web service part where this dependencies was missing last class so i have added this dependencies it's a org.json right and this is the locations from there you can uh, get this dependency right so for every dependency you have a locations url from there you can get the dependencies once you have dependencies added in your form.xml you can do just right click and uh, run as maven install you can do that and after that you can do right click on the project go to the maven and click on update project and you can select this checkbox and you can do force update right once these two things is done then last class we have issue with this json object class when i was trying to use that it was giving compile time error right now if you uh, place mouse over here you can see that this json object over the audition so click on the json object now your error has gone right and whatever json pojo you have converted to json you need to convert this pojo output to the json object through this class because i am supplying this login to the pojo which is the main class to this json object and now you copy this paste it here dot you can write to a string right because when you are posting the data to the server it should go in the form of a string so now you are posting the data so when you this is your body of the request now you need to post the data to the server so again you have to write request specifications dot it's a post call so you have to write post so when you say post call post requires the url like with which url you are going to post to the server so you need to use this post url and here we need to uh, use the url so uh, i need to get the url okay uh, to get the url i think i have not copied anywhere did i copy anywhere no i didn't copy the uh, url so let me get the uh, url uh, just one second So yeah, this is our URL. So we can get this URL. This is my URL. Now uh, we will close this. And if you come back here, here in double quote we can supply the url so this is the url which we need to send what happened didn't get copied oh i missed it i think it didn't didn't get copied let me copy one more time Usually in your case, you can get this URL from uh, your dev counterpart or 
from your project manager whoever it may be they can give you this url i'm not able to click here yeah now i can come back to the clips just it yeah so url has come now when we post data to the server we get a response so let me write one response variable and just place mouse over here click on create local variable automatically response will get created and for testing purpose i will try to print the response here itself yes so response dot it has a method dot So we are getting the okay this variable we are getting so response dot as a string that we'll see that whether we are able to send the payload to the server or not and guys this JSON object because we are converting the login project to the JSON object so we need to supply this JSON object here now uh, let me send the request okay so as of now i'll be using main method because i next i need to test my service whether my service is working or not after that once we'll start the test case design i'll use i'll be using test ng so let me make the object is equal to new service so bj dot login so when i say login i uh, need to supply these three things login id login source and password so i'll take it from here i'll go to the body of this payload and uh, i will take it my login id is this and i'll come here double quote i'm going to write my login id password sorry yeah. and here i need to supply password right now let me run this test so request will go so we can see that it's saying that uh, class not found exception so it is saying me that java land com java way rest assured rest assured so it's saying that class not found which class it is saying that com jv rest assured rest assured so this class it is saying that not found okay let me do one thing let me uh, go to the team uh, go to the basically maven update the project it should not say class is not found i'm just updating my project now uh, let me rerun one more time so again it says that this class is not found line number 27 click on that line number 27 from here it says that class is not found so what we can do is one more time i'll try to install my dependencies so i'll go to run as these things you will get for i mean when you are setting up the project you will get this all challenge i just did update okay so it says that compilation error does not exist does not exist okay it is saying that the rest assured response does not exist so this thing it says that does not exist so let me go back to my service in service it is saying that this thing does not exist so in the form.xml if we look at we have added the dependencies right uh, yes uh, uh, we can do one thing we can yeah that should go fine i mean this is not something which should not work this should go fine uh, i can do one more thing so in java build path java build path if i have this i can remove and i can add the library 1.8 this is fine but this is not the issue guys uh, 1.8 is not the issue 
and if you look at your maven dependencies you have all dependencies the rest is showed json rest is showed common everything is added here so we should not get the failure okay if we get the failure i will try to resolve it okay so i still till we are getting this issue no problem i will solve the issue but that's how we can post the data to the server okay that's how we can post the data to the server and we'll get a response back right so this your login api method is ready now if you have to test this login you can just create a test ng class and you can call this login method just what you need to do is you need to supply this three arguments apart from that we also need to see how to verify the response which we'll see in the next video right and this is the end point so this end point you can ask uh, your company or you can development team or your whoever concerned person you can ask for the end point url so that you can post the data to the server so thank you guys thank you for watching this i'll continue with the video and i will try to fix this issue why this issue is coming right thank you once again